Hi guys, it's Marcia here with our step four um, in our couponing for beginners series. So today I want to talk about coupon matchup sites. So if you have a computer or a laptop or something that you are kind of going on to do your coupons and stuff like that, I would bookmark these um, if they interest you at all so you can go back to them and have them right there in your favorites or bookmarks so you always can get to them. They will be very beneficial. So I'm just going to name off a couple that I use. I'm in Illinois and um, these are just some that I use, um, but there are some that you can use no matter where you live. So um, a couple of places I know that anybody can use would be couponmom.com. Um, she's great because you can find your state and pick that, pick your store, you're good to go. Savingwithveta.com, um, I also follow her on YouTube. She's great because she has an array and assortment of weekly deals, Amazon deals, um, clearance just anything she finds she places on her site so it's great to look on there just um, to see what's also being offered um, southernsavers.com uh, that's for more people in the south I, I wouldn't be able to really go off of that but southernsavers.com I heard is a very um, well-known site also living rich with coupons.com also a, a great site that will help you with your coupon matchups and information and stuff like that um, wildforwags.com that is specifically tailored to Walgreens so if you are a Walgreens couponer or you want to be because it's close to your house or because they have amazing deals whatever the case is wildforwags.com um, also for my area we I have a schnooks in my area so I follow someone uh, that has a website in St. Louis. It is STL for abbreviation for St. Louis, stlmommy.com. And I'll link all these in the description, but um, it's like a, a website based, I believe, specifically for the St. Louis schnooks. But in here in Illinois, it, it, I mean, goes right with what our deals are as well. Also, a CVS um, matchup site that I like to use is TwoLittleDollsDeals.com. She actually also has a YouTube channel that I like to watch. Um, for Meyer, you can go to MeyerMadness.com. Everything about Meyer, I love it. Um, if you're in my area, which I believe County Market is only in Illinois, um, you can do County Market, which is the frugal family org and they do a lot of great matchups for county market um, for target you can do totally target.com all about target is wonderful it tells you it matches up your coupons with sales ads perfect um a coupon database you could um bookmark and go on would be deal seekingmom.com you can basically type in you know you need deodorant or something like you have to have it you have some deodorant coupons but you don't know where to go you can actually type in their deodorant or be more specific and she'll pull up what coupons where they came from and stuff like that so you definitely want a coupon database to help you with that um, and with this, I would also say if you can carry your coupon policies with you, because sometimes the cashier or even the managers, they don't really know their own store policy very well. So if you can go to your stores that you coupon at and print them off of their websites and just have them in like, this is what I use to take around with me. This very small, it fits in my, um, purse. So if you can just have it and fold it up and it's like accordion style, has a couple of different things, just pop it in there so you can have it with you. I think that's a, um, a great idea. And then I was going to say, I think that was it. Um, oh, I did want to mention that most of the time when you're stocking up for coupons, they run in six to ten week sales. So if cereal's on sale at its rock bottom price, you know, this week at a dollar or 50 cents, you want to at least get six to 10 boxes. If you guys use one box of cereal a week, that way you're spending a little bit of more money up front right now. But in the long run, you spent only 50 cents a week for cereal versus going to buy 
you know, two this week, and then the next four weeks you have to spend three dollars for a box. So, um, you know, when these websites, when you're matching it up and they're showing you, hey, these prices are low. If you have the coupons, you definitely want to go ahead and stock up. So um, this was my step four in couponing for beginners series. So I will see you guys on the next one, which I believe step five is using mobile apps to maximize your coupon savings. So if you want to learn a little bit about that, please go and check out that video. And I will see you guys on the next couponing video. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.